Morning all. Probably going to be a bit of a short video this one. Uh, we're just catching up with the cattle, treating them from where we haven't had time over the past few days because we've been so busy bagging, cutting, combining, all of that rubbish. Um, so I'm not going to show you the actual needle that we inject with simply because it's about the same size as my finger and I'll show you it when I get back to the yard but I won't show you that process just because people might not want to see it, it might seem a bit squeamish, probably don't want to eat, watch it, what's, maybe they're eating, you never know. Um, but anyway we're up to 452 subscribers now, hey, hey, never thought we'd get more than about 10 so we're doing well and we seem to be back up to the 1000 mark on the views for some reason we dipped down to four or five hundred at one point and we are moving at the beginning we were up at like two to four thousand and we dropped drop down to four or five hundred now we're back up to a thousand so we need to get back up there don't really know how to do it but i'll just keep doing the videos and see what happens just moving the cows inside so we can treat their eyes come on a little bit too tame Go on, Eli. That's it. Guy just stands there with his hands on the hips, not doing much. Into the next paddock. Just walk him over the bridge. Eli's slacking. Got lazy, he's never worked so much in a week. Have you, Eli? Uh, <laughs> bloody hell. Straight over the bridge they go. Pretty much. You never thought that would work so well, would you? We're going to spray this field off, so ignore all the docks. What we're going to do is take a few of the small ones out of this shed and mix them with the small ones in the middle there, which we've just brought in, treat a few of the ones' eyes, and then turn them all back out. So we're big in the shed, little inside. Oh, the buffalo are getting excited. These are the drugs of choice. Tetracure again. We've got an open bottle of that. Opti-clock screen, straight in the eye. The guy shoes the cows round. Eli applies the fly pour in the race. And then I do the jabby bit. Oh, this one here, all done and flyed. We've even got Betty out. Look at the size of her. God, there's some stakes on that. She's our pet. And our boyfriend, Henry, who's a steer. He's also a five-year-old, six-year-old pet now. Come on. Come on, out the way. Here comes the big lad. Come on. Old Emery and Betty. I'll go and open the gates and thread them on through up into that field. Just up the hill going to dismantle this water pipe, uh, water trough, so disconnect it from the water pipe and then move it literally across the fence into that field, which is just dead grass on top, green grass underneath, uh, green clover underneath, but dead grass. So we're going to take that off, graze it well and um, restart, hopefully. This field here, we grazed eight weeks ago, took the cattle off. You can see how much it's grown. Absolutely nothing. That field in the distance, I cut for silage six or seven weeks ago. And if it has grown two inches, I would be amazed. Uh, the clover is not even moving now. It's been that dry. This is all chalk, so it's not holding any moisture. And then this was a standing crop of grass. Um, and we were going to just chew down where the cows in are, are in now and move them straight across to this uh well, all the grass has died off i knew if i cut it at the same time as that field it wouldn't grow back so it was like 
wait a week or two and move the cows in. So we've waited a bit longer than a week or two. Um, grass is dead on top, waste of time. But there is clover underneath, which is green. So they'll probably eat their way through that in a couple of weeks. And then they'll have to be out here, which is green, but they'll eat their way through this in a couple of weeks. And we'll be buffer feeding, unless it rains, which doesn't look like on the forecast. So joys of my life at the minute. It's all rather stressful. Water pipe disconnected. Now to try not to lose all the water on the way around. Yeah, well, at least some grass is getting watered. This is basically what we're putting the cows onto. You know, usually we mow this, but I haven't bothered. There is green clover underneath, so they will eat that. And the dead stuff, they probably might chew on a bit, but they'll accidentally pick it up with every mouthful of clover. Yeah. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. There seems to be quite a few ragwort plants out here, and I can't work out why. This field and this field have been arable fields for the past well, for 10 years. It's only the past two years they've been put down to grass. So I don't know why it's all of a sudden come about, unless it's the dry conditions. Let the cows in. Guys, just connecting the wire across the gateway there, where the loader is. I'm waiting up here for the thumbs up to turn it on. I could turn it on for a laugh, whilst they're still connecting it up. That would be right banterous, and I'd be able to watch them squeal. <laughs> the there we go. Oh, guys, uh, flat out up the field. <laughs> here we have it. Sports fans, we got Sam trying to take his car apart to blow the radiator out. How's it going for you, Sam? Wait a minute. Just fucking whip the whole thing off. <laughs> we got Dice in here. Hello, Dice. Yeah. Oh, we're not allowed to swear, otherwise we don't get paid. Oh. Yeah. No. Just come back because the truck was getting a bit hot. And it's taken three of us, Jeez. Eli's filming me, to take that off, which has about 300 pips to hold it on. Easy. And we're left with half a field of grass underneath. Airline's just blowing up, filling up, and we'll go again. See how blocked it is. I think it could be a pressure washer job. I tell you, I've seen some disasters waiting to happen, and that is one of them. Five eye, unreal.